is everyone doing today? I am feeling a little better and I thought I would there's a five question tag going around and I thought I want to have a little fun today and so I decided that I would tag myself and do it and I'm going to make it an open tag for anyone who wants to do it and um so it's a five question tag it's not a quick christmas one or anything like that it's just something fun that someone came up with tony from uh, creative chica halls um, she tagged some people so i told her i said well i'm just going to tag myself so no but since nobody tags me on anything so i'll just tag myself and do this because might be fun okay now they're not all in <clears throat> in line like I think no one's really really going like one two three in order so the way I got them down is the way she had them written down so here we go number one if you can change your name what would it be well, my name would be Shalina. Probably doesn't fit me very well, but I came up with that name when I um, when I first got pregnant, and um, I loved the name so well. I said, if I have a little girl, I was going to name her Shalina, and I've just always stuck with that name, and I love it. I think it's beautiful, and if, if I could have named my granddaughters, that's what Amy's name would have been, would have been Shalina. So, I just love that name. Um, it's kind of a combination between my niece from my husband's side and my niece from my side of the family. One's name is Sherry, and my niece is Tina so I came up with Shalina I kind of do that I've, I've kind of always done some stuff like that so yeah that's what that's what my name would be Shalina okay if you could pick a famous person to make your life make your life movie who would it be Well, a famous person, I'm going to pick an actress be, uh, before I would a, um, like a, um, artist, a singer, whatever. So, my number one favorite actress is Sandra Bullock. I love her. I love her movies. I don't know, she just seems real and whatever, and that's me. I'm just real. And, yeah. Sandra Bullock. I've not always had this color hair. I used to have dark hair. So, yeah. If I could show you some pictures, although I don't look like Sandra Bullock, my hair would be more like hers. So, yeah. Sandra Bullock. That's who I would pick. Because I know she would, she would play it well. Okay, dog person uh, number three dog person or cat person so on that it's both because I love my I love my doggies but before I've only had one cat in my whole life because my dad never would let me have a cat because he did not like cats when he was young he got attacked by a cat for some reason or another probably because he was bugging it because my dad was mean in a lot of ways. So anyway, but anyway, um, uh, he would never let me have a cat growing up. So I did have one for a little while when I was probably like six years old, maybe not that old. And she came up, she was a stray. And I had her for a while, and she was so sweet, and I called her Fluffy, and she, I remember she was a light-colored cat, and she was 
beautiful. She had long hair. And then one day I was missing her, and I called her and called her and called her, and I named her, uh, I named her Fluffy. And um, my dad told me that that she took off, that she, you know, she took off, and uh, because she was pregnant. She, um, and he said sometime he said. He said, cats, they get pregnant, they, they run off. You know, they take off and have their babies. So I believe that story, you know. I mean, I was a little bitty kid. And then later in life, my mother told me what happened, that he had took her off. So, there again. She was so sweet and smart. Uh, she, was, she was my first love. But then... I always had doggies after that, and even after after me and Gary got married, we had um, only two, and that's the ones back here in this picture here, except for the one, the one on the right side. Oh, there goes my shoulder. Oh my gosh, the one on the right side. That was my mom's doggy. So this is three generations here. So we had Yo-Yo, and we had Candy, and uh, they had pups, but I didn't get to keep any of, well, Disco didn't have any pups. She couldn't because she had seizures, and so the vet um, said, you know, that he would not suggest her having any puppies. So we didn't, you know, we didn't let her get have any babies. But Yo-Yo did, and that's how Candy got to be about. And then Candy had babies, and then that's how we got Disco. Disco was her only, yeah, only daughter, because the rest of them were boys. I believe this is the way it went. Yes, the rest of them were boys. She only had the one girl, so I got her. So that's how we got her. So, and... You see that beautiful boy right there? I don't know how good you can see him. That's Sylvester. That's my kitty. And we had him 16 years. We lost him in 2011. Excuse me. And about three, three or four months late after that was when we got Romeo. But he was... I still miss him so, so much. So, you know, I'm... So, that's what I am. I'm both. I'm both a cat person and a dog person. And so is my husband. Because we miss, we miss Sylvester so much. He was a wonderful, wonderful boy. He was so smart, too, and beautiful. Everyone, everyone went on about how beautiful he was. We miss him. Bad. Okay, then... Number four is, what is your favorite holiday? Well, Christmas, of course. Christmas is my favorite holiday because, as, or as I like to call it, and I like to call it holiday. So if you're going to say happy holiday to me, I'll say happy holy day to you. <laughs> because um, Christ, he's the reason... There is Christmas, but um, the reason why I love it is because it is just the most magical time of the year, you know. People are nicer to each other, and where I live, there's no snow, which is sad for me because I grew up in Michigan where there was snow all the time, <sighs> and that's I miss the snow, but other than that, Christmas is my favorite time of the year. I love it. I love to give. And I, I love to receive, but I love cards, Christmas cards. I've, that's always been my big thing is Christmas cards. But, um, yeah, I'm pretty chatty on this one. So, <laughs> yes, Christmas is my favorite time. Now, I do, I do like Halloween because my mom liked Halloween. Of course, she loved Christmas for the same reasons as me. But um, she loved Halloween because of the fun of it. 
and my memory of with my mom for Halloween because she would go trick-or-treating with me dress up and go trick-or-treating with me and we had so much fun and I won't forget that and she would tell me not to call her mom call her Lily because that was my mom's name was Lily <laughs> I get mixed up and I'd say mom she'd say look at me and I'd say Lily come on let's go to Lake's house but yeah we would she would you know put something over her face so you know people wouldn't think that she was a grown up but it was it was a lot of fun so yeah Halloween with you know past with my mama and Halloween now with my granddaughter so but Christmas yes Christmas is number one yes Christmas is number one okay if you could live in a sitcom which one would it be I'm not big on sick sitcoms. I mean, I watch movies. I'm a classic type of gal and all that stuff. But if it was a... I love to watch the middle. I love the middle. I mean, <laughs> Axel. <laughs> I always say he reminds me of Cody, my son, in so many ways. He tickles me to death. I mean, the way he acts and... There's a little being a smart ass and stuff like that. <laughs> I don't know. I just get a big kick out of that. And, and, of course, the way the mom and dad are, you know. Um, and Sue, their daughter. If anybody watches the middle, they know what I'm talking about. I feel so sorry for her because she tries so hard. And she doesn't really get anywhere. But when she does get a little something, like when she done the cross cross-country um, she got to do that cross-country thing she, that was meant to everything to her so you know she's so sweet and of course then um, I can't think of the other one's name uh, the young boy I always felt sorry for him because they they always like they always forgot him and stuff and I always felt so sorry for him. It was like he didn't exist. <laughs> but, but still, that was that's my favorite one. And I love Roseanne too. Yeah, I, do. I love I love to watch Roseanne. And I hear other people saying uh, everybody loves Raymond. Yeah, that one was fun too because the same woman that plays in the middle plays as Raymond's wife. Of course, I'm not good with names there, but yeah. So, but it would be the middle because, yeah, uh, that's my favorite one. So, that's all of them. It's five of them. And uh, that was fun. That was fun. Yeah, uh, gosh, I don't know who all's been tagged. So, um, let's see. I'm going to tag... Gosh, let me think. Oh my gosh, I need my other paper in here because I have to look everything up. I am so terrible, y'all. I have my other paper in here. Okay. All right. How about me making this open tag? There's an open tag. And Janae, honey, I hope you're feeling better. I had not seen you. This, I'm wearing my... My shawl that you got me, my my different scarves, wearing it different ways. I'm wearing it like this today, cause I'm still chilly and still not myself, but I'm working on it. And um, so it's an open tag, so I tag you. Anybody that wants to do it, go for it. And I can't wait to see your videos. Thank you for watching, and. Uh, I'm trying to get up and around and all that, so uh, I don't know what I don't know what my next video is going to be about or anything like that, but um, I'll get to it and all that.
um, later. I'm trying to get my house done, but it's gonna be it is it's gonna be what it is, you know. So, um, when I get done with things, I will do a little tour and show y'all how I've got things decorated because I'm a lot of people's anxious to see what I've done with the red truck, and so I'm excited to get that out there there to y'all. So that'll probably be my next video because I don't have any hauls or anything like that right now because I've been staying home because I've been sick so and my Izzy's she's in the next door neighbors or across the street their dog they've let they're letting her dog out and so you know she she's feeling pretty good <laughs> love y'all please give a thumbs up if you like these type of videos and if you don't well then give it a thumbs down but i appreciate a thumbs up choop, 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 choop. love y'all love you very much and please um like and subscribe and i love you all and i will see you next in my video my next video just as soon as i get it all done god bless Take care. Stay well, my friends.